well, first find, and it's a toy truck. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously an old one. Yeah. We're going to see what else there is down here, and uh, it is known for Romans, so you never know, I might get our first Roman. That's my first coin. Doesn't look like much. But you never know. So I'll take it home and get it cleaned up. It's just a rusty blob I think. Daniel's got a coin ball. Yeah, there's a coin in there. A very corroded coin. A very corroded coin. Oh, oh. Hang on. Well, yeah, I can make some out there. I'll have a clean up. Yeah. And, uh, it's a coin. It. 1933, half penny. So it's two half pennies for me and a penny for Dan. One, one. <laughs> Well, I'll just check that hole again before I filled it, and there was another half penny in ship one this time. Uh, I'm in the lead now. Well, I'll just check that hole again just to make sure, and there was another coin in there, another penny. <laughs> well, I'm not really sure about this one. It looks like an Irish half penny um, at first, but I'm not sure. Either. There's the other side, and you can see the bust on it. Oh, the clean plates, I didn't see. Another penny. This one's um, Edward, 1907. Seems to be a lot of coins here. Got to be some silver somewhere. Another penny. Looks to be about the same sort of age, about a Edward, Georgian sort of time. Um, Lots of, lots of coins, but still no silvers. Another half penny. Oh, another coin, another George V half penny. Got to stop for a quick coffee now and a quick half now before we go. Six inches away, another penny. Um, so about 1935, something like that. Is it 1918? Can't 19. Oh, another penny. Yeah, another penny, 1947. Still no silvers. Another kind, cheap penny. 